Hi, in this video we're going to look at some rotations and just kind of see what happens so we can understand some of the formulas um, for rotations around the origin, so around the point zero, zero. And we're going to look at some key rotations. We're going to look at 90 degree rotations, 180 degree rotations, and then 270, de 270 degree rotations. I left out 360 and, and 0 because 360 is a full rotation so nothing changes. All right, it goes all the way around and a 0 degree rotation doesn't change at all. So these are some good landmark rotations. So when we rotate, we rotate in a circular path. So you can picture our rotation as a circle. And when we're ro rotating about the origin or around the origin, that means the center of our rotation is, or the center of our circle is going to be at zero, zero. So let me try to get that the best I can. There it is, okay. So we're rotating around the circular path and our center is at zero, zero. Now one thing to, to think about, let's say we have this point right here and that'll be two, zero, right? Because it's on two and doesn't go up or down. So we'll just set this up and we're gonna rotate this point. So one thing to think about is that there are two directions to rotate. We have the counterclockwise rotation direction. And then we have, of course, the clockwise rotation, which is the way a clock ticks, right? So clockwise rotation. Now, um, although I'm not too sure in the background of this um, or why this makes sense, if it's just a random decision, uh, I'm going to look further into this. but. The idea is that when you rotate in a clockwise direction, we consider that negative. It's not that it has a negative value, we just have chosen it to be the negative direction, whereas counterclockwise is considered to be the positive direction. So when you rotate 90 degrees negative in a negative direction, you start here and rotate along the circular path 90 degrees to this point right here. If you're going to rotate positive 90 degrees, at, from this point about the origin, you would rotate this way, right, and end up here. So let's look at that. We'll get some positive cases. So if I rotate to this point, that's 90 degrees. How do I know that? Well, when you draw a line from the origin to the point, and then draw another line from your origin to your new point, um, the idea of a rotation is that that angle measure between those two lines will also be 90 degrees, and that represents your rotation. So that's a 90 degree rotation. Now let's just look at what happens to the point. Now the point is sitting up here. Well, where is that? It's still on the circle, and the circle has the same radius everywhere. So here, the point was two away from the origin, so now it's two away as well, except it's, it's above the x-axis, right? So now the point is zero, two. And I don't need two lines here. So when we rotated our original point 90 degrees, the point went from 2, 0 to 0, 2. And in fact, that's what's going to happen when you rotate at 90 degrees. Rotation of 90 degrees. You go from x, y to y, x. Now this is a, I, I chose a case here with a 0. So let's just think about this for a moment. Will it always happen that it will go from x, y to y, x? Should something here be negative or, or positive? Well, here my x value was positive 2 and it became 0. What if my x value was maybe, or if the point was up here? Now we'd still be rotating about the origin, let me just fix that, let me put the point here. What if the point was 2, 1? Let's really try and understand this. So if I rotate 90 degrees, now what's going to happen? Well, I'm going to draw a line from the origin to this point. Now to find the new point, it's going to be somewhere up here. right? Because this angle measure between the two rays still needs to be 90 degrees. So look at that. We took 2, 1 and now the point's going to end up here. And we can use some trigonometry to figure out exactly where this new point is, because it's still going to follow a circular path. 
right? But we can, we can I think, make an observation here. This circle is a little bit bigger. And it's pretty hard to draw. Sorry about this. Okay, so that's our new circle, circular path. What happens now? We went from 2, 1. What's this point up here? Well, now we're going in the negative direction, and then we're going up. And my drawing is a little bit off, but it should be at negative 1, 2. So when you're testing out to understand formulas and trying to figure out what, what's going to happen, be careful when you use a zero case like I did here, because it won't tell you the full picture. Not only are, is x, y switched, but when 2, 1 was switched to negative 1, 2, so in fact, our, our y should be written as negative y. So when you want to rotate a point or a bunch of points, like a shape, 90 degrees, you take all the x, y values and switch them to negative y, x. So if it was 2, 1, you switch the order to y, x, which is 1, 2, and then take the negative value of your y. And here that works with 2, 0 to 0, 2, because the negative value of 0 is just still, it's 0. So 0 is unaffected. Now what about a rotation of, of 180? What's going to happen then? Well, we'll start with x, y. Now let's rotate all the way. We'll use the green point. 90 degrees was here. 180 will just form a straight line. So we'll extend in the opposite direction from where we're at. Where we're at. So instead of 2, 0, we have negative 2, 0. And what would happen with this point over here? It would be somewhere down here. Oops. Use red. And again, um, I'm just estimating for the sake of this video. However, uh, this point where it, sh it should be, if I drew my circle a little bit better, where this point is now, it's negative 2, negative 1. All right, you can always see where it's sitting. Here's negative 1. It's a little bit lower than that because my drawing is off, and here's negative 2. So, in both cases, what happened? We start with an x, y. And then, in the first case, the order stayed the same, except we had negative 2, 0. Does that mean we go from x, y to, to negative x, positive y, or what happens here? Well, I think we know for sure it's going to be a negative x. Now, to figure out the y, the zero case isn't going to help us too much, so let's look at our red point here. 2, 1 became negative 2, negative 1. So it's going to be negative x, negative y. So what, that's, what this is saying is if you want to rotate a point or a bunch of points, take the x, y values and just find the inverses of them, right? the additive inverses, the opposites. So x becomes negative x, y becomes negative y, and by doing this, you'll rotate your points 180 degrees. So in the first case, our point went from 2, 0 all the way around. That's a 180 degree angle. And in the red case, we went all, you know, all the way around here, semicircle. That's another 180 degrees. So I got lots of, lots of colors and lines happening up here. And But this does, I mean, we can think about why this makes sense. Look how the point travels when you rotate it 180 degrees. The green point goes basically in the opposite direction. So it makes sense that the, the two x and y values, to rotate at 180 degrees, um, to do that, you need to actually find the opposite values. So instead of 2, 0, it's negative 2, negative 0, or just 0. Instead of finding 2, 1, we go to the opposite and find negative 2, negative 1. Now the last rotation we're looking at is 270 degrees. I'm going to use the, this right up here. So when we're rotating by 270 degrees, we take our x, y values, and what we do is what? Well, what's nice about, and what I think what's interesting about 270 is it's almost, in a sense, opposite from 90. So I've got a lot of stuff going on here. Let me use a bolder stroke here. So remember, in the first case, we went from 2, 0, right? We rotated up to 0, 2. That's 90 degrees. Well, here is 180. Here is 270, right? We go up by increments of 90. 0 to 90, 90 to 180, another 90 gives us 270. So 270 is just opposite of what? It's opposite of a 90 degree rotation. So what's going to happen here is that 20 becomes now this point down here, Oops, which is on my, my, my pink circle, sorry. So this is 0, negative 2. So 2, 0 to 0, negative 2. So we know we're going to switch the order. 
and we know that x becomes negative. And, right, so 2 became negative 2, and 0 still stayed the same. Let's look at our last point, the red one, to figure out what's happening, because here's the 90 degree rotation from 2, 1 to negative 1, 2. So the 270 rotation is going to be all the way down here, across from the 90 degree rotation. Let me use the line tool there, because this is already messy enough. Okay, so what's this point going to be down here? Well, it's going to be 2, right? Oops. Yeah, 2, sorry. And then negative 1. Again, I'm sorry that this is just so off. Because <laughs> it's just the, the way I drew the circle, everything's just not working out exactly as I had hoped. So what happened here? We went from 2, 1, 2, 2, negative 1. I must have done something wrong here. Because, right, we already established that with the simplest case, um, x and y need to be switched. And we take a negative value of the x. So what am I doing wrong here? Let me just cross this out. Okay. So let's just use the formula to get a sense of what this point is. What we know so far about the formula, it should be 1, negative 2. Yeah, that makes more sense. Sorry. Um, so this point is 1, negative 2. Okay, my drawing is not as horrible as I had thought. Um, I think the problem is that some of these points don't look as friendly as I had hoped. Sorry. So the rotation of 270, what you need to do is to switch the y and x values, but make the x negative, which, as I said, is the opposite of what you do when you're rotating on a 90 degree angle, because they're opposite points of each other. So, in, when you're rotating at a 90 degree angle, the y becomes negative, and you're rotating, or you take the negative or opposite of the y, and when you're rotating on a 270 degree angle, you take the opposite of the x. Um, sorry about how this diagram got a little bit lost. We'll look at some examples in the next video, so if I haven't lost you completely here, we'll go over it and clear it up, because the rotations are really fun. All right, hope that helped.